In this video, we're going to be discussing the mastering chain principles. Now, let me open up the mixer for this. I'm going to go over to my um, master output. You'll notice that I've already got three plugins inserted there. As discussed, we're actually going to be working on our mix. I'm not going to bounce it down and master the two track. I'm going to be actually mastering our uh, stem mix here. Two reasons. A, I've got enough processing power for a start, and B, if you find that the plugins start to affect the balance of anything, you can go back to the mix, into the mix there, and change it. So let's do it like this for now. Um, I may go and actually do a two-track master as well. Uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, so you'll see on here that I've got three plugins already inserted. Now, if you didn't watch my mixing course and you skip straight to the mastering, let me explain why. <laughs> okay, firstly, we have the gain. I'm just going to turn these ones off. Now, if I turn this off here. Okay, there's one point in the track when that big hard clap hit actually overloads the output so we've had to insert a gain output no none of the other busters are clipping none of the channels are clipping so i think it's actually quite safe to put a gain plug in there and reduce the gain which we have done by minus two dbs which compensates for that um big clap hit there which is pushing it over the limits okay so that's our gain plug in I think it's okay to use a gain plugin to turn the, the volume of everything down. You may find that uh, everything's great, all the buses, nothing's clipping at all, but as soon as it gets rooted to the master output, it's clipping. So it's good to insert a gain plugin and uh, reduce the gain there until you actually stop getting the red overloads, which is exactly what I've done there. Okay, next up, we have the PSP Vintage Warmer. Uh, I really love this plugin, and all I use it for is is a little bit of tape drive there, that big knob that says drive. I, I find that it just gives a bit of saturation, a little bit of extra compression, but it's not a noticeable. It's more of a fattening um, tool, and I've been using that forever. It's amazing. You know, this is where without and with love it. If you want to, you can actually use the compressor here and you can adjust the compressor just by changing the knee. I find if you move it just up to, up to about seven there, you get a little bit of gain reduction and it's just a nice little squash. But we're not going to use the compressor in that. We're going to use this compressor here, which is the UAD shadow hills compressor um i'll go over it again this consists of two separate compressors well they're not separate they actually uh, they're in serial which means this compressor here the optical compressor goes into the discrete compressor um, and then to the output and the theory behind this is that the first compressor catches the peaks the second compressor doesn't have to work so hard. And it's basically like using two compressors on your master output, which some mastering engineers, engineers do. I've seen that. And you can do that if you want to. And how this works and how I use it, it's very subtle. The first compressor there, you see I can switch the meter over to optical. Um, I set it so there's only oh, it's about minus one dB. There we go. Just tickling it. And the second compressor I set, so it's just peaking at minus two. I have a long attack, which lets most of the sound through, and then I have a quick release. And that's not to mess with the dynamics too much. Uh, we need to put the sidechain filter in. Okay, discrete. You can see we can turn that up a little. Now, 
if I turn it off, you won't be able to hear the sound. Let me just get the level a little more like it sounds when I turn it off. So that's off. And that's on. Very subtle. All I'm asking for is a little bit of glue at this point. Okay, so that subtlety is the key. Now, let's discuss the chain. Now, the next plugin you could put would be simply a limiter. I like to use the UAD limiter, but you can use any limiter. Um, but we can go a few stages further. Um, if you want, you can use the Logic. Where are we? We're on imaging and it's stereo spread. The stereo spreader is a really nice plugin. Let's turn this down because it does what it says. It actually spreads the stereo elements of the sound by using the Haas effect. Um, it's not the Haas effect on this, sorry. It uh, just creates extra harmonics and spread those across the frequency range and you can actually choose the frequency that it works on specifically um, and we generally use that before the compressor you wouldn't use it afterwards because it really upsets the balance of the compressor you'll find that you might have to adjust the, the, the compressor a little here so Okay, so we can use the stereo spread. There are various different stereo spreads we can use. I uh, am a massive fan of UAD. UAD have one called the Precision K Stereo, which is amazing because it works on a slightly different principle, which is it's got an ambience recover function. If you look at the uh, factory presets, we can go master, um, raise, mids, and highs. So. <laughs> What I like about the K-Stereo uh, is the fact that it, it works on a very cluttered mix, such as this one, where we've got a lot of sounds competing for uh, attention, so to speak. Um, it's great at decluttering. I'm not entirely sure exactly how it works, <laughs> but all I know, it sounds great. Okay, we've also got on here, we've also got the, uh, I like the, I'm a big fan of Brainworks. The Brainworks plugins are amazing, and we have the Brainworks Control version 2 which does a similar sort of thing uh, there's a few extra features in the brainworks control um, which is a mono maker one thing to be aware of with mastering is that you don't want to spread the bass you don't want to stereo spread the bass out because that can play havoc on big systems and also if you're actually getting your tracks mastered to vinyl um, we can you you can actually uh, cause the needle to skip <laughs> believe it or not, if you've got a stereo bass. So uh, anything below about 150, I generally leave mono, and then we can use the stereo width to enhance the uh, mid-side. It works on a mid-side algorithm, meaning that you, the mids and the sides are two separate, um, almost audio files, um, so, and this works purely on the sides. Spreads those out a bit. I quite like the sound of that. Um, there's also within the Brainworks plugins, I have the full suite here, is the Brainworks Digital V2. Now, I really like this one because this is a mastering EQ and uh, stereo width enhancement mono maker. It's all built into one. I would greatly, highly recommend getting this. Everybody I know uses this thing. It's an absolute piece of genius. And uh, I'm going to get into it a little bit later of how to use it. But that's a really nice plugin. And I would insert that. So you've got the gain, you've got your PSP warmer, which is kind of boosting the sound. Um, K stereo. Yeah, I've actually by accident uh, switched off my. Um, mastering 
compressor, but I can go back to that and put it back on. I know exactly what I do with it. So I'm just giving you some ideas and some overviews of, of mastering. One thing to bear in mind um, is, this, is, the, uh, is the order of the chain. And some things to think about are you will get very different sounds depending on where you put the plug in. For instance, gain will always go at the top because you want to turn down the gain if it's peaking. The next one would be vintage warmer because that's just going to give it a little bit of warmth. The next one I would put in, I may put an EQ at this point. Um, or I may actually do the stereo width at this point. After that, it would be EQ, stereo width. After that, we would put a compressor. And then finally, the last stage, always the last stage, would go the limiter. Because it's at that point you want to squash all the peaks. And that's what gives you the loudness. So join me in the next video and we'll actually start working on the master. Mm -hmm.